This is Malak Saad reporting from AUC TV. Today we will be talking about the student life at AUC and abroad. Recently the Egyptian pound was floated which, was, which had several repercussions on the country including AUC. The flotation of the currency means that the value of it will be determined on a daily basis according to the international market. Since half of the tuition fee is AUC, in AUC is paid in dollars, some parents cannot pay for their children's education anymore. Many students are protesting in front of the administration building, others are considering traveling abroad. Our reporter Ahad Oud captures some of their answers. Hi, this is Ahad Oud, and today we're out on the AUC campus to, to ask students whether they think studying abroad is better than studying in AUC. Uh, yes, but my parents, of course, didn't approve that. Yes, I think the quality of AUC was very good in the past oh. few years, but recently I think it, it uh, it's really declined. And I think the, the, the quality of studying abroad is, uh, is much uh, higher. Uh, no. And do you think, uh, and do you think the, the education abroad is better than the ones we receive at AUC? I think, oh. Yeah. Why? Um, it depends on the major, yani. but I think my major is better than here. Have you considered studying abroad? Uh, yes, I have and I already did, but I changed my mind and I came back to AUC. Why was that? Uh, I felt homesick, to be honest. And do you uh, think the education uh, abroad is better than the one who received at AUC? Uh, not really. I think you can get an education anywhere you want as long as you put your mind to it. Uh, it really doesn't depend on the institution you're in. Have you considered studying abroad instead of coming to AUC? Um, I've actually considered to apply for a semester abroad and uh, summer abroad as well. I didn't apply for anything before AUC outside, no. And do you think the quality of education is better abroad than the ones we receive at AUC? Well, um, I, try not to, I try hard not to be biased, but the world ranking assumes so, so I would say yes, that because of the world ranking of statistics and uh, the graduates of MIT, for example, Yale, Harvard, they, um, they contribute heavily to society, so I would say yes, obviously. Uh, yes, I did. What? Because uh, it's better for me to stay here and uh, with my family and this. Uh, so but after after the 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 increase in the tuition fees, I might go. I uh, sorry about. So do you, do you think the quality of education outside is better than the ones we receive at AC? It depends on the university. Thank you. No. Uh, do you think education uh, abroad is better than the one we receive at AC? Yes. Why? Uh, actually, no, the quality of, of education there is better with professors and all that. Uh, yeah, in the beginning, yeah. It was uh, changing my mind. So. Why did you change your mind? I thought that I was in the beginning, that I didn't know how to work outside and remember and so on. يعني I thought in uh, abroad and now I will uh, have fun more than uh, studying up there. But uh, after two years of Haga, I thought about traveling abroad, but uh, I didn't have the chance just because I'm uh, graduating يعني خلاص this semester. But uh, it would be ben more beneficial than AC I'm uh, studying abroad. Think, uh, education abroad is better than the one we receive at AC. Considering academics, yeah. But the experience we share with the professors, we and I'm accounting business administration for the, all the doctors and so they are um, currently have jobs outside the, and they have positions, high positions. So I, I benefit from the actually networking more than academics, and that's the benefits I took from AC actually and social life and stuff. Thank you for watching. This was Ahad Oudb reporting from AUC campus. This was all for our first segment today. Thank you for watching and keep watching because we will have a very interesting interview that will give you a feel of how a student abroad lives. Malak Saad speaking from AUC TV. Our guest today is Hossein Mohammed, who was an AUC student <coughs> and who went to study abroad in London. Hello, Hossein. Uh, can you tell us, how long did you stay in AUC first? Uh, I stayed in AUC for two and a half years, five semesters, and then I transferred. Okay, why did you transfer to London? Uh, I transferred there for uh, 
a chance of doing my master's later on and also because I, when I applied for the universities in London, like I applied for three or four, the, my GPA was actually above the, requ the requirements. So I thought it was my chance to actually transfer there and experience the new life of studying there. Did you like it there? Was it better than AUC? Uh, everything has its pros and cons. Uh, at the beginning, I struggled. It was actually difficult to adapt living there and by yourself. Uh, in terms of finding, for example, a flat, it took me a month and, or more to find one. Uh, also, the system, uh, there they follow the British system, but here or in, back in my school, Shuai uh, Fet, uh, they followed the American system, so it was actually difficult <coughs> to switch from one system to another, as the American system relies more on having like more than one exam projects and all these things, while the British system only relies on one exam uh, during the whole year. So it's uh, like you cannot catch up. So you have only one chance to either ace the exam or that you fail. And what about like the differences between the campus? Uh, obviously, here in EUC, the campus is uh, 10 times bigger than there, and uh, much, much better. Uh, over there, it was actually outdated, and it was, uh, I heard that they had two campuses. One of their campuses was uh, actually, a few years ago, was a mental uh, hospital. So it was uh, like you would enter, you would see that the rooms are so outdated and uh, the rooms you feel that everything is a bit dead over there. You don't feel safe actually there. And what about the differences between the students with you, like the nationalities and your social life there? Uh, obviously there, there I was exposed to more than uh, more than one national, like people from all over the world, Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, Europeans, Americans. Uh, at the beginning, it was actually a bit difficult, like how we communicate. Because, for example, I would say a joke, and like our jokes and like the way we think, the way we behave, our traditions were completely different. So you had to adapt with each of them. So it took me a while actually to get close to them. But after getting close to those culture, what did you think? Uh, did you think that, for example, uh, this made your perspective like more bigger and like different? Uh, yes, uh, like I was exposed to many, <coughs> like as I said earlier, many nationalities. So each one of them, like I tried to take the goods from them, like how they think, how they, like, for example, how they study, how they, they organize their life over there. Because, for example, the Europeans, they are used to this li uh, like lifestyle, this living, like how they live in the UK. but. For example, our lives in Egypt is completely different from there. So obviously I had to adjust and adapt. So with their help, I actually managed to do that and also to get along in the university to catch up in the courses on how I study, how like I, I find my notes, for example. And what about the students' lifestyle? Are, there more, are they more hardworking than here? Or? Uh, there, they are, it's more competitive, much, much more, much higher, actually. Uh, because, for instance, uh, to get uh, an A, for example, uh, you would have to write something that no one else has written down because all the exams are in essays form. So you have actually, like, for example, if uh, me and someone else write the similar idea, they would give us a B for that, even though if it was actually an, uh, something different from all, everyone else. So you actually have to be different. You have to be precisely accurate in everything that you mentioned, the essays. So there, they, for example, not all of them would give you their notes because they know that if they give you the, your note, their notes, you're going to write it, so they, it's, uh, it lowers their chances of getting an A, for example. And what about the doctors? Are they like harder, um, better? Um, actually, there, there, was, there were good ones and there were bad ones. Like, Not all of them were at my expectations, but also, they were a bit different from our doctors over here. Like, obviously, there there's doctors here in AC that were quite good, but there the the way they also think and they teach and everything is different, what more advanced. Okay, so they teach in a more advanced uh, way. And also, they are less strict 
like uh, if you don't want to come you don't have to come uh, the presentations for example aren't graded it's only for yourself so they think from the student perspective not from this is a must and that you have to do this so they're not strict about attendance not uh, really no okay and about like the quality of your life outside university uh, quality of life in london and quality of life here uh obviously here you enjoy like you have a you live a, <coughs> the standard of living here is much higher than living over there because that you can afford things over in this country in egypt that you wouldn't be able to do as much in london because of the differences in the exchange rate and like in london is also known to be the one of the most expensive cities in the world so for example here i would either used to go to university by my like driving by my car or with my friends over there you would only use the public uh, public transportation and it would be like only on few occasions that you would have uh, someone would have a car and, or something uh, are you working now or what are your plans after i'm doing an internship at the mbk capital uh, for five months till i start uh, my duty because i have an army that starts in april so i'm doing it now for it's an uh, asset management company that deals with stocks and shares and okay so did you meet any egyptians there when you were living abroad that helped you cope with like your life there as uh, their same culture yes i uh, was actually lucky to have a bunch of egyptian friends over there they were the ones that actually stood by me and helped me to <coughs> not struggle and not to feel the estrangement and uh, they provided they were the ones that actually used to provide me with notes and they were actually more than helpful okay uh thank you for watching this was malak saad from AUC TV.